Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if this is going to be the start of a weekly vlog or if this is gonna be its own standalone vlog. I am playing every day by ear, as I'm sure you can imagine. I'm currently sitting in my car. It's 8.15, I have a doctor's appointment at 8.30. We are doing the NST, which I believe stands for Neonatal Stress Test. And after that, I will be meeting with my doctor and we will decide whether we need to move the C-section date up or if it's okay still being the 18th, which is two weeks from today. So it's kind of insane. <laughs> We've truly been playing every day by ear and thank you guys so 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 much for all of your love and support Over the past few days the past few vlogs. I've just felt like so lucky to have such a supportive and Wonderful group of people behind me and it's been it's been a roller coaster like i've had moments where i thought like okay yep definitely this is it and then other moments where i've just felt like so i don't not like not defeated but it, it's such a roller coaster of emotions and you're already feeling like this heightened sense of emotion as you welcome a new little one into the world and then on top of that to like be nervous and worried about like am i going to labor am i not like what am i feeling a contraction right now am i not checking every single time i go to the bathroom again for that like pink discharge which luckily has not happened again it's just it's a little stressful but we're, we've been making it through it's been fine um so i'm gonna head on in and we will we'll figure we'll get some answers and i'm i'm excited i'm like so so excited to know a little bit more about whether or not this little guy is coming early. Okay, so I, I think I would be equally as happy if she turned around and said like, you have to have a C-section today because I'd be so excited to see the baby. But the good news is everything looked normal. Everything looked good. Nothing was, like nothing changed. So she checked to see if I was any further dilated and I wasn't. Everything else looked good. So we are gonna proceed with the November 18th C-section day which makes me happy <laughs> I would have been again like equally as happy if she would have said like oh we have to like do the c-section on Friday or yeah I was like kind of stressing myself out because I was thinking like <laughs> if she says we have to do it today like how what am I gonna do with Hugo who am I gonna call like what, what's gonna happen like he's with a babysitter right now but I know the babysitter needs to leave in like a half hour so like what do I do <laughs> So like she walked in and I was like so tense. She was like, are you stressed? <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, but like just, you know, this is just me. This is just like, this is how my mom brain is working right now. But the good news is again, everything is normal. I'm going to come back next Friday for another NST. And I guess my last doctor's appointment before the C-section, which is bananas. And she talked to me a little bit about the C-section. She said, like, obviously there is a chance of infection. And, you know, like, she kind of listed all the bad stuff. <laughs> and I was like, okay. She was like, but, like, these are all the things that we do to avoid that. And, um, yeah, uh, and, like, other things. So I feel good. <laughs> feel good um I'm going to I feel I'm just I'm glad that like everything checked out and the baby is healthy and the baby is good and he can stay in there and keep growing 
for oh, two more weeks. Two more weeks, it just have to last two more weeks. And yeah, I'm gonna head home now. <sighs> Relieve the babysitter of watching Mr. Hugo. And it's a beautiful day today. So probably after his nap today, I'll take him, I'll take him out. So, oh, I need to drink some water. I'm feeling like so. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what a few days. I just realized I forgot to register at the hospital again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't forget. I have to do that next week. Oh my goodness, I keep forgetting every single time to bring my paperwork and to register at the hospital. Not that like I don't think it would be a big deal if the morning of my C-section I like also registered, I think it would be fine, but I need to do that. I'll do it next Friday. <laughs> I also realized that next Friday, next Friday is like kind of a crazy day. Next Friday, um, Hugo has a bunch of evaluations scheduled with the school that we are thinking of sending him to for preschool. Some special education evaluations um, that has to do with his speech delay and some other delays that we think he should get evaluated for so that's happening in the morning and then my appointment is at three so i'm gonna see if jeff is able to work from home that way um just like the whole day can be our family appointments and then he can get some work done and if not then um i'll have the babysitter come for the baby for the ob appointment so me and myself a pumpkin soy latte and um, he was gonna go down for a nap soon, huh? You wanna say hi? Yeah. You witty. You're so cute. Do I have chips all over my face? Uh, it's 2.30, I can't believe Hugo is still sleeping. I put him down for a nap at noon. So I'm gonna go wake him up because otherwise he won't go to bed tonight. And I put in a pickup delivery at Whole Foods for three o'clock, three to four, so. I also wanted to take him to the playground because it's like such a nice day. So we've got to like get this day rolling. So I'm going to go wake him up now. <laughs> You're still hoping he's not too mad. Okay, we're back home. I'm like desperately trying to fit this stuff in the fridge. Um, this was so successful. I, oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, I haven't been able to find tempeh in the store for what feels like months. And I added it to my like Amazon Prime just like list thinking like, well, I'm sure they won't have it. They freaking had it, are you kidding? I'm shocked. They also had, I've been saying on my Instagram, how like, if you're into Thanksgiving foods, it's best to like, stock up on them now, especially if you're vegan, cause like these things go so quickly. We got one of these last week. I put this on my Amazon Prime list, thinking like, they won't have it, don't give me any substitutions, but they had it. So I don't know if I just got lucky, or if they're like hiding things in the back, I don't know. But I need to unpack all this stuff, and then it's already 4.45. I have to start doing Hugo's dinner. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but <laughs> we currently have three cream cheeses. Oh my gosh, that's... Oh my god, do we have four? Are you freaking kidding? <laughs> this one's, like, empty. That's so funny. Good morning, guys. What am I filming? Good morning, say hi, Chelsea. Today's Thursday. Jeff is in the shower getting ready for work. I am going to take Hugo to the farm this morning. We have the morning and then I would really love if he could take a nap at home today because uh, I have some work that I have to do and then we have a speech therapy session for him at three. And then I am teaching my last dance class tonight. I'm going to be so careful. <laughs> I'm gonna be so careful. I'm gonna try. Not to like push myself too much. I don't think I pushed myself last week, but like just be extra cautious. I drink a lot of water today. Just like stay super hydrated and super healthy. Oh my gosh, so my sweet, sweet, sweet friend who is also pregnant right now sent me the sweetest little gifts. Sent me these little nano baby bottles. I've never tried these before, but taking my own advice, thought I would get a few different types of bottles for this go around just in case we end up bottle feeding or you know like using my breast milk in bottles and baby wants to try these they're so cute they look they actually look like boobs there you go 
And then also got the Nutribullet for baby. <laughs> so you can steam your own vegetables and fruits and stuff, make your own baby food, you can defrost, and you can sterilize bottles, pacifiers, and toys in here. So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, this this for this baby number two, I'm gonna try to make my own baby food. I didn't with Hugo, but we were living at my parents and it like that whole time just felt super overwhelming. So I did not make my own baby food, but for this go around being that we have our own kitchen and everything, I think it would be pretty easy for me <laughs> to make my own baby food. So that's that's the plan once we get to that stage. I don't think so, Mr. Toon. <laughs> Say hello, good morning. We're gonna go to the farm. <laughs> he, he went and grabbed my DSLR. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm gonna get myself ready now. Oh, look at the goats, they're so cute. Look at Bob, they're having breakfast. Aren't they so cute? Are you driving? Good driving. Good job. Wow. Yes, it's happening in our house already. I, it just is. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I am the epitome of a hot mess this morning. I look terrible, but that's how I feel inside too. <laughs> oh yeah, yay. Good morning. I feel very tired today. The type of tired where your eyes are like slightly burning. Yep, that's how I feel. Doing some laundry. Um, and just, we're just gonna get through the day. It's Friday, I'm so freaking happy it's Friday. I need the weekend. I'm so happy it's Friday, it's a beautiful day. Um, I have a meeting with Hugo's therapist in an hour. So I'm going to spend the next hour Hanging out with Hugo, gotta put a bra on, <laughs> look a little more presentable, and uh, then uh, we will do our meeting, uh, and then we're gonna go, I think I'm gonna bring him after his nap to my parents' yeah, house for a little yeah. bit. Uh, my dad will be home, and we'll get to play with the dog, right? Get to see Sammy dog? <laughs> I love you. Yeah? Oh, yeah. we wanna be really gentle, okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, Hugo's having a big conference in his bed with most of his stuffed animals. <laughs> Where are they going? On the stairs? Okay. Oh, before I close out this weekly vlog, I wanted to show you guys what I got from the baby to Hugo. So many of you recommended that I get Hugo some sort of little present from his baby brother for when we bring him home from the hospital, and then it just eases the transition. You guys gave me such great ideas. So what I ended up getting him was this little GoGo Smart Wheels VTech Goofy, he has the Donald and he has the Mickey. So funny, before I was doing laundry and like something accidentally hit his head and it started going off. <laughs> so I was like trying to be super loud so Hugo wouldn't recognize or like realize. Um, I got him this sweet book. Oh, I feel like this is like something from our childhood. But I thought it was so sweet, just me and my brother. And I think I'll probably write like a little note in here to make it really special. This is a Big Brother coloring book. And then I got him some, like this is um, an expansion pack. He has a Mickey Mouse VTech GoGo Smart Wheels set. And you can buy this expansion pack so that you have more tracks. So I thought that would be fun. And then there's one more little book down here. It's the new baby. So I thought that would be sweet. And then I was a little, I was feeling a little undecided. <laughs> and I also purchased, hold on, let me reconfigure. I also grabbed this tub of wooden blocks. I'm trying to be quiet because Hugo is sitting eating his sandwich. But I grabbed this off Amazon. We actually have the same thing at my in-laws place in Ontario. And Hugo loved it. We left it up there. And I thought it would be really nice to get him one for down here. And what I think he'll love is the top, the lid has the cutouts of the shapes. So he is going to love just 
putting the pieces, I could see him doing this for a long time, putting the pieces through the holes. It's really good like shape recognition. You can do color recognition too. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like the VTech and like the track and the car and the books for when he the baby comes home or if I should do the books and the blocks. He'll eventually, I'm thinking I'll do this as the present from the baby and then this can be like a separate fun thing that someone pulls out at some point while I'm recovering and if Hugo's having a hard time or something. I am, I'm experiencing a little bit of mom guilt, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I feel like I wish I could take Hugo out right now and like go to the farm or the playground and I'm just feeling so tired. Like, so, so tired. It's a little past 3 o'clock. Hugo took a really long nap, which was great. Sorry, the cardboard box is, like, in the frame. Uh, oh, no, it's the... There we go. Um, I'm just feeling so tired today. Like, so run down this week. Just felt so long. So long. And I'm so pregnant. I'm trying to give myself some grace here. And I'm trying not to, like, put too much guilt on myself. So I think we'll probably spend the rest of the day at home. Ordered Hugo new shoes and the boxes are all over. I got him these again. These are the best little toddler shoes. The tongue opens so wide. If your baby has, your toddler has like chunky feet, these are the shoes to get. And I ordered him these like Paw Patrol sneakers. No, he doesn't watch Paw Patrol, but he loves dogs and they light up. Like, come on. So anyway, that's what just fell on the floor. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling exhausted. I'm feeling so tired. This week just felt really draining. Um, the meeting with his therapist went really well this morning, but it's always it's always so much to think about. Like there's so much to think about. So my brain just feels kind of tired. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking like, let's just call it, let's call it a day and just hang out at home. I'll finish the laundry. I have so much laundry to do. Um, tomorrow we're decorating for Christmas. I'm not going to vlog it. I'll show you next week what we end up doing. I'm really excited. So tomorrow's going to be like a Christmas day. We're going to decorate. I'm also in the morning going to go shopping with my mom. Sort of like my last hurrah out in the world. Because <laughs> the following weekend my in-laws are coming. And like it'll be the last weekend before baby. And so tomorrow's like my last day to just hit up all the stores. If there's anything I need to get. Anything last minute. Um, yeah, we're just going to we're gonna hit it all up. So I'm really excited for that. And that's it guys. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being so supportive and loving and just being the best friends over this past few weeks. These past few weeks have just been crazy. And if I was feeling tired before, like this past week is definitely just like I need to take it a little bit easy so that this little guy stays in until November 18th, right? Like that's what we're finger crossing our fingers for next week. I looked at my calendar and it's a busy week. We have, a, we have a few sessions for Hugo happening. So he's got his therapy sessions. I have a doctor's appointment next week. We have the evaluations at Hugo's uh, school next week. It's just like, it's just gonna be like kind of a nutty week. Oh, we're also meeting friends on Tuesday that we haven't seen in a while. So like, there's just a lot going on in like the last week leading up to baby. So yeah, I'm gonna take today and just try not to like make myself feel so guilty about it. I love you guys. I will talk to you in next week's weekly vlog unless something crazy happens before then, but fingers crossed, it's smooth sailing. I'll see you soon.